Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another part of our Rome 2 campaign playing the Davide et Impera mod f for this, for Rome 2, as the Nervi. And in the last episode we did take out Namnetum and this province, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, Ul Ulio Bono possibly? I don't know, that might be not, that might be right, that might be not. But yes, we took them out and we have now secured Northern France for ourselves. The plan is to go after the Arvani next because, well, they have province with horses who doesn't want horses and they also have some iron and uh yeah if we take that then we are even closer to securing gaul for ourselves i'm not quite sure where the editani are here i'm pretty sure they're a spanish faction that are down here somewhere but we'll deal with them in time as well and then we've got uh, a few other places to go after down in the south and then we have basically secure gaul for ourselves so in this episode that we do plan to take out the arvani i've got my Army's ready to, uh, well, prepare and invade, I guess you could say. I What armies have we got here as well? We've got this chappy doing his thing. Um, ooh, some Lanciari, Helvetia. A big old name, they're, they're called, they're basically Helveti uh, mercenaries, aren't they? Um, I would really like to replace my berserkers, but it doesn't look like we're going to get a chance at this moment. I will probably just get through a few end turns and sort that out. Um... I could put you in. Don't know if I really want to. So I'm going to end the turn. Oh no, I'm not. I've got some stuff that needs doing. This guy needs upgrading. This guy does have a lot of mercenaries, uh, mercenary berserkers, so we'll be keeping his. Um, I'm going to upgrade your replenishment, yes, because we could do with more replenishment. Hurry that along. Then we're also going to put morale for all units. We'll improve that. Now we'll end the turn. And we'll see what happens. So I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe in this uh, in this troubled times. And Rome, you want us to join a war against these guys? Uh, no, you can do your own thing, Rome. Clear off. But yes, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe um, in this troubled time. Uh, doing what's best for, well, I'd say the greater good, but then that just sounds very weird. The greater good. Sounds like someone straight out of Hot Fuzz. If you've not watched Hot Fuzz, you would not understand that term. But, uh, yeah, so, and you know, okay, what else have we got here? What else have we got? Uh, no, I'm not giving you military access. Military access means the armies start taking my food away from me because they walk through my lands. You can go and expand east anyway. You don't need me. I'd just like to thank you all for the new subs as well. We're getting, we're growing very nicely. We're, uh, well, we're doing quite well now. By the looks of it, I think we can definitely hit 1100, definitely by the uh, end of April, if not earlier than that. So that'll be really good. Let's keep it up. If you haven't subscribed and you uh, are watching right now, subscribe. What are you doing? Join the Papal Legion and uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you never miss a video. And if you want to as well and get involved in battles, then please do uh, join the Discord. The link will be down below and you can do that. Um, they want a non-aggression pact. I didn't realise we didn't have one, to be honest. Oh, have you lost your land? <sighs> you idiots. I'll give you it for free. There. <laughs> idiots. But yes, so we're clearly going to have to worry about the inservies now. They've got two borders that I don't really like. Who the heck are you? Who are you? Oh well. Uh, trade, yep, yeah, not surprised. That trade's gone. A child is born. Excellent. And we could get a champion. It's telling me get a champion. What if I say no? So there you go. You can move on. Uh, right, there we go. Horse pens and everything like that. Excellent. Right. Let's put you over here. Keep you doing your thing. You've got horses. Okay, yeah, you've got cavalry. You've got, you've got horses. Very educational way of saying you have cavalry. Uh, <laughs> right, I think I'm going to get maybe more swords, just to get some more axes. And because I don't really need more cavalry. Two units of cavalry is more than enough. I would probably bring, might bring four on a good day, but I'm not really that fussed. The like, cavalry's not making a massive difference. Though these guys have a lot of cavalry. Alright, so they have career. Uh, I'm going to just move into Octodoron because this is a safe spot to be. Um, you can also... Ooh, you can get some naked swordsmen. 
Naked cell swords, they call themselves. That's interesting, but no. Um, they are cheap, though, those spear, uh, those hired uh, cavalry, but no. We won't get any of them. I'm going to get some of these guys, because they're pretty good and they're cheap. Um, yeah, you can just go in there, because I've got nothing to spend my money on. So we'll keep you there. What is going down here? But this place here, we need to get taken out as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to just another load of treaties, and people will hate me for that. Um, yeah, I think we're nearly ready to go to war with um, these guys. I'm going to go for Cenobon first, um, mainly because it's just closer. <laughs> not much, not many tactics in it, just that. Uh, how far can I move you? Quite a way. So I'm going to move you all the way back. I'm not too worried about Medlan. It seems like they're in a real bit of trouble of their own. They've got no garrison. I could probably walk in and... Who are they at war with? They're still at war with these guys. And they have no garrison. I could take these guys out. If I wanted to. Wouldn't actually be the worst idea in the world. Um, so I might do that. While we're waiting. So I'll end the turn. And we'll see what happens. Like, yeah I might actually take those guys out. I mean I'm recruiting stuff. But I could just end that. And uh, just take them out. <laughs> they got zero garrison. It's just more the fun. Funny thing, how the heck have you got zero garrison? What have they been doing? I mean, they, their buildings were all destroyed and damaged, so I mean, I guess that does explain that, but... Idiots! I just want more berserkers, that's all. This army just needs more berserkers. Uh, no, I won't be joining your war against the Iceni. I don't know why you're still at war with the Iceni. I know you'd, I dragged you into it. I apologise. Just make peace. It was all a misunderstanding. They just wanted to liberate someone. I just wanted to keep it. They better not come back right now. Those bloody British. They're always doing something. Always in history. The British are doing something. As a fellow Brit, I know. We're always meddling in world affairs that really aren't our problem. We couldn't just let Germany, you know, take the rest of the world. And then when they tried a second time, they stepped over the line. Clearly. <laughs> What am I? I'm jabbering on about some random stuff now. I do apologise. Uh, I just want this faction as well just to leave my lands. Like, Jeez. I mean, I'd like if these guys would actually go after the Yerevaski. And I need to actually see who this faction is. Because the boy... Oh, okay, the, they are the Yerevaski. Okay, they have a white emblem, but then they're green. Not a fan of that. Family Annals. Okay, cool. Um, you go up here. Go and see what's going on here. See if there's actually anyone... Uh, excuse me. Get out of the way. Ah, excellent. No one here to take my my province. It's definitely my province. Not someone else's province that I want for myself. Jeez, it's going to take forever to get flip. I just want berserkers, okay? You have these guys, but they're not as good. I don't know how I would manage... They, like, those berserkers, they lasted so long. And then they finally died to someone pretty irrelevant. The year is... whatever, yes. The Ah, cool. The Roman Denarius is minted for the first time. I bet you were all wondering when that was going to happen, didn't you guys? You are all eager to know when the Denarius was going to be minted. Um, I could mint my own. I don't know what my Denarius... I don't have Denarius is, but I can mint my own coin. Why not? Let's do it. Let's mint my coin. I get a better tax then. Excellent. Who could wouldn't want that? Um, I'm going to just... Why are you starving? Oh, and you... I might as well just keep recruiting because I can't move because we're in winter. And apparently winter means that... I don't know. The whole flipping world's just... Impassable now. I really wish that wasn't a thing. Don't you just hate it when the whole world becomes impassable because of winter? Good thing is, I guess, though, that the... Uh, Arvani can't get any armies up here because they can't move because of snow. That small thing. Who are they at war with as well? Let's just find out. You're at war with... Uh, you are at war with these guys and the Edatani. So the people to the south and the people to your east. So the AOD will actually start to like me because I'm going to just take out these guys very nicely. Um, I'm not sure how they haven't because this probably this province has been unoccupied for about 10 years. Um, are there any other treaties I could do? I would like to see if I could drag you into this war against the Aravaski. Join war. Oh no, you are at war with them. Go and attack them then. You're literally on their border. 
Jesus. Useless people. You are welcome. Uh, Boudini, I thought I was friendly with, but apparently not. They really want money for non-aggression pack. It's not going to happen. Oh, not non-aggression, for a, a defensive alliance. Um, you. Defensive alliance? No. Military access, I'm sure you would want, wouldn't you? When you fools. Um, defensive alliance? No. Clearly people just don't want a defensive alliance with me anymore. You honor us. There is food. It is time to talk no. Men of many you can have it if you put a defensive alliance in there. There you go. There you go. I'll give you it for that. There you go. I should have got money out of them. There. We're defensive allies now. I've got a solid border of defensive allies apart from here. But I'm not, I don't care about them. These guys, they seem to like some people. There you go, you can have a non-aggression pact. Don't think we're ever going to fight you, but just in case. In the small off chance we do. Um, I will end the turn again and we'll see what happens. I'd like to take this place and get some iron. Then we can improve our troops. Then we can improve our horses down here. Because who doesn't want horses? I mean, I know Tesco does. And if you're not from England, you wouldn't get that. Good old Tesco. If you want to read up on it and learn that joke, you can. But, I mean, it's not worth it. Basically, Tesco put horse meat in burgers. And didn't tell anyone. It was a few years ago. Very, very weird. Surely it would, I don't know, be more expensive to kill a horse than a cow. But I'm not sure. Yep, this faction that's still at war with me. Can they just go away? <laughs> like, I don't want to know that you're still here. Oh, okay, the AD definitely lost a lot of their army there. Go, you especially go away. You're just like touring my lands. I know I've got a lot of land. Doesn't mean you have to look through all of it. And the boy are making a offensive against these Erevisky. That's good. They have two full stacks and they have one province. Jeez. Um, cavalry training, please. And we lost some attrition. Uh, that is sad. At least it wasn't in this army, which is going to go and kill people. There we go. Declare war. I will bring the boy and the Tulingi into it. There we go. And we take the land. Stab him in the chest. Oh my gosh, my horse has nearly died. Again. I would have probably just, I don't know, killed myself if I had lost horses again. Jesus, I don't need, don't need horses being lost. Actually, I wonder if I can get Germanic and um, those berserkers from this province. Because this is part of the same province. More than like, oh no. That's a different province. That, why aren't these two in a province and... Which one are you in a province? And these two are a province. It makes so much more sense. Like, this is more like... More in... Actually, no. That's not in Belgium. That's more in Belgium. This is not Germany. That's de certainly not Germany. That's just... France. That's just what... For France... That actually is kind of Germany. Because some Germans would argue this is probably part of Germany. But some French would argue it's part of France. And that's how world wars start. Right, let's go and see... <laughs> I've just clearly got something going on with World War Two today, apparently. I'm just going to keep... But yeah, I don't know where Arvani have got their... Uh, have got their flipping armies, but that's what we're going to do next. We're going to take them out next. Yeah, it's actually probably better to take my army out of the settlement, just because they'd probably prefer me if I did that. People hate you if you uh, just do that. Right, also, let's see if we can just take out the Medland people. Because they have no garrison in Serbies. Do you have a garrison? Ah, damn it, they have a garrison now. Back across the border I go. Back across the border. Um, because we have money, I'm going to spend money on more axes. And we don't have any mercen mercenaries now. Oh, I should have seen what mercenaries could have got here. That would have been interesting. But yes, I am a bit thrown by these guys. They're, uh, they're starting to expand and I don't really like it. And they're still at war with Korea. Who is... Or the, not Korea, Rete. The Rete. 
Just take the, your land back, man. I'm pretty sure there's no one there. You, you probably like me now, um, because... See, trade, I'd love to do trade, but I'm gonna have to take you out at some point. Well, these guys, I can definitely get a defensive... Uh, I don't really want... Yeah, sure, fine, defensive alliance. But I want you to join my confederation at some point. I will spend all the money if I have to. I'll get you to join my confederation. You actually have some pretty big sacks. Ooh, they have a lot of javis. Naked spear throwers, to be precise. Okay, I found their army. It's in their lands. Um, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. That'll work just fine. And then, what else do we need to do? Not really anything else. We haven't got many armies. I could probably raise a fourth army, but don't really need it. I've got all my areas, like... The east is well and truly secured by all my German allies. Um, the south we've got sorted with this small stack here. But we're destroying them in the west. And this army up here in the north is just going to find more mercenaries. Because we want mercenaries. End the turn and we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can get a battle this, uh, this part. Because, well, that would be... That'll be good for you guys. Just give you some entertainment. I'm sure you don't, you enjoy watching me uh, move troops around on the campaign map so much, but you want to see, see some movement going on as well on the on the battlefield. Uh, peace treaty, Arvani. Oh, they got more than I thought in land. No, <laughs> they have more than two settlement, uh, one settlement left. Well, we're gonna make it one soon. Because they clearly have one stack and they're trying to defend against about three different factions now. Which is why they offered me £100 for a peace treaty. I've never been more insulted in my life. There we go, the Irish just keep touring Cornwall. Oh, okay, that's not good. Swaby, come on, how did you lose that? I mean, I know it was pretty much undefended, but I mean... Why weren't you defending it, you idiots? Right, I'm gonna just start putting a war target of the flipping Lugie and get them knocked out of this game. No. I need to do that. If I can, I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, hey, they won that fight. Nice. Now hopefully the boy actually goes and finishes them. Oh, they've had their go. <laughs> right. First things first, I've had it with the Lugi. Can I set a war target? I can. War target, take out these guys. I don't know if that's on general or on the thing, but just, actually, you know what? Take out that, take out their flipping settlement there. That's the order I'm given. Go over there and take that out, right? I can then move from Cenobum and I can carry on all the way down here because apparently I'm doing just fine. Are you a one star? Or yes, let's try and kill you. Or subvert. Ah, uh, no, there's no point. Let's do something to the settlement. Ah, oh, there's even worse chance. Why have I even got you as a spy? You're not even useful. I'll just try and subvert the guy then, I guess. Misdirect him. You're gonna get stabbed, aren't you? No. You failed. You just failed. That's even worse. I'd rather you've been stabbed. Idiot. What mercenaries could we get? Uh, none. <laughs> nice. Excellent. Just what I needed. Just what the doctor ordered. No mercenaries. Um, I could get these really good spears. And you know what? I will. They look cool. Because we haven't got any spears in this army anyway. So why not have some spears now? I'm going to put you back in Zoctodoron. Just make that generally a bit better. And then I'm going to have to carry on my flipping, ex flipping journey all the way back here to go and get more berserkers. And this army won't even probably have to fight anyone now. This is probably it's been retired. Oh, well, these guys are pretty cool, but they're not who I want. These guys are flipping OP. Yeah, just go across the border, recruit some mercenaries, and then you can come back. Jobs are good and. And we'll take Lemonum next turn. We'll get all the lemons, and then we go down to take Nemosis, which I can't actually see. And then we'll take out some of these people down here. And there we go. That'll be a jobs are good and. Hopefully. Um, anything to do in the faction? Don't really think so. We've got... This guy's had a baby. Good for him. I'll get, I would give him a pat on the back, but it's not that hard. 
He's just got to sleep with his wife. Um, there you go. Have a minor... Yeah, have that. Have a minor um, diplomatic bonus to all factions. Because that's what we needed. Anyone need promotions? You could do the promotion. What the heck? You can. We can praise you? I don't think so. Don't really need to do anything. We look perfectly fine here. Politics is looking good. Everyone loves us. Not even looking like we're on the threat of a civil war just now. We'll just leave them to it. Leave them to it. Oh, I should have seen actually if the AD would have preferred to have done anything more, but I don't really care. I, I'll i kill them if they don't join my confederation, and if they do, then that's great. I don't have to kill them if they don't become a faction anymore. Wonder if how Rome's doing then. It seems to be it seems to not be able to take northern Italy, which is by far okay, that's not a good sign. So the Arvani basically won an entire battle there without losing a single man. And there we go, they've finally taken uh the Erevaski's settlement back. There's a war target I've set. Swaby you better go back and take it. There's about three men and a donkey defending it. And it worth two thousand coin apparently. It's making. That's some. That's definitely going to be able to fund at least one more army for you. Yep, they're doing their bit. Uh, like I would, but I've got a few other people I want to go through first before I go and deal with them. So no. Like I would join that, uh, if you join my confederation, but since you keep saying no to that. I'm going to have to say no to you. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, to be honest. We only get to, like, we get to these people, and there's still about another 5 million factions to go. I just can't kill factions off quick enough. They keep coming back. They keep getting, I don't know, recreated. Medos, cool, you got found. Ally confirms war target. Good. People start going kill them, please. Right. Take Lemon and back. Well, not back, but for us. Okay, apparently I'm going to lose 40% of my army. I bet you I'll lose these horsemen. I don't think this auto resolve understands that I have a full stack and this guy has about 12 men. Actually, it was quite a large garrison, but I mean, most of this is rubbish, so I'm not quite sure how that happens. But I'm not wanting to fight that. That's just such a waste of time. I will fight that large full stack though that's uh, doing some damage. And another large full stack over here, which is full of pikes. No, they're just heavy infantry. Okay. And then these early oath sworn. Okay. So you just got an army of spears and some cavalry and a few bows. No swords in sight. Well, that will end poorly for him. We, we might actually need this other army then. It may actually have a purpose. Right. How many mercenaries can you recruit? Perfect. Two more mercenaries. We have a full stack. We can carry on going back now. Excellent. This should take no time at all. Right. Perfect. I'm happy now. We've got full armies. Apart from this one. Which is slowly getting, making an army. But I'm in no rush. Um, But if I was to put more troops in. I'd do. I don't know. But diplomacy. Let's do diplomacy first. Because I've. Kind of, who the heck are you? Where the heck are you come from? And the Gutons? Oh, you taken out the Gut. Who the? He so someone else has now appeared to take up. Oh. There's too many factions in this in this game. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Okay, so the Guton Confederation just took out. I presume you set up the Guton Confederation, didn't you? You idiots. Yeah, military ally, the Guton Confederation. Flipping idiots. Don't need more factions in this game. Can I get you to join my confederation? No. I need to see if the AD would join my confederation now. If I gave you 11, 11 million. 11 million. 11,000. That would be moderate. No, I didn't think so. It's a shame. Military ally? Nah, I'm not. We're not, we're not that committed yet. I'll beat some armies up and then you, we'll see about it, won't we? Yeah, I agree. 
Maybe if I take out Massalia as well, you'd like me to, if I did that. Um, right, so you need to get another ability for you. Let's see. I could do campaign movement. That's not a bad idea. Still not able to move very fast around this part of the world. So I will go with Unrelenting Force, you know. Do I want any of these? Military melee attack skill for all infantry units. That could be kind of handy. Raiding, I'm not too fussed. I'm not really planning on raiding many people. Night battles, not really planning on fighting many night battles. It looks like it's going to be indomitable infantry. There we go. That's good. Now we have horses. Did we ever need horses? Not really. But we have them now. And look at all these horses we can get. Same, pl same stuff we can get over there. But you know, these horses are better. Apparently. Don't know really what it actually does. It doesn't really... I guess we just now have horses as a thing we can s sell? Yeah, look at all this. We have horses now that we can sell. And we're importing a lot of stuff. And we're producing all of this. And we're importing... We're importing iron! I swear I have iron here. Or well, what's this then? This is silver. Oh, it's not iron. Even better then. I'd rather have silver than iron. I can... With my silver, I can buy iron. But we're going to take Nemos... Nemosos? Um, I don't know. Then It's got gold. That's even better than silver. Well done, Pope. You just stated a very obvious thing there. Obviously, gold's better than silver. It's just common sense. But, I mean, it's looking very... You are strong and wise, and yet Why would I join a war? I mean, yeah, yes, I could, but I don't really want to. I'm at war with enough people as it is. And they're a fact... They've, they've got no flipping town. They're going to die in about three years three minutes. Okay, so the AD have got a full stack back again. I thought they had no men. So either they spent all of their money on mercenaries or they spent all their money on mercenaries. Or they were lying about having no about having lost their entire army. Which I am dubious about whether they did. They kind of like, if the Arvani was going to kill off that entire army, it would have lost a lot more. It would also be helpful if some would go and take out Budagoris. Or Budagis, Budagis, not Budagoras. I would love to join the war against the Iceni, but I don't really want to go and invade Britain. Mainly because I love Britain, being a citizen myself, and also it's just not on my war plans. It's take Gaul. And then we see where we are from there. Raise an army in Lemonum for 500 and call to arms. Now I could do that, but I have no money. I have 800 coming in a turn. Rome has declared war on the um, Venati, so that's cool. And then we've got population surface, and we've got loads of stuff going on. Oh, concealed army discovered. Who's concealing their armies from me? Oh, was it you? Oh, and this army down here. I don't really care. They're a long way from me. In the year... 267, something happened in Greece. Which involved an Antigid, or whatever his name is. I hate winter. Look how far I can move in flipping winter. Might as well not bother. What a waste of time. Um, oh, population surplus though in Hyacinthia. That's somewhere over here. Isn't it? Oh, it's here. Yeah. Um, you're going minus one down a turn. Well, we're going to put in this to... Uh, actually, well, we've got leather, actually. This would obviously help with public order. Yeah, actually, yeah, let's just do that. Public order. <laughs> let's just start converting this place to public order. It's already Celtic enough. Let's make it more Celtic. Actually, that's a point. It's already Celtic enough. Why don't we just make it happy through other means? Like this one, maybe. Yeah, that, that could work. Let's do that one. This one. Uh, th okay, I might actually recruit an army in Magna Germania. Because we may have a rebellion there. That's more likely. You've got an upgrade. Or the army does. Um, so we'll do... 
deal with that. Um, actually, no, this is the general. Um, let's put in. Uh, let's put in morale. Actually, no, let's put in ferocious warrior, and then let's put in trained swordsman. There we go. And then I'll end the turn one more final time, I think, and we will see what happens. There's not much going on. I do apologise that this like episode's not really had a battle. Um, I can't help it. The Arvani aren't coming anywhere near my armies. Hopefully when we uh, make a move towards Nemesos, which will probably be in about one or two turns um, from Lemonum, we can go swoop down, take like move outside Nemesos, and we can take... Oh, they're already reading my mind. They're going to come do it. Oh, this is not... The A, this is Rome. What the heck's Rome doing here? Oh god. The A and E are maybe in trouble. I might be in trouble if Rome takes anything over here. I mean, why are they here? They're not at war with anyone any of these guys. So bizarre. But it looks like the Arvani are gonna come and just march up north and come and face me, which is fine. No one's moving towards Budagoras as their war, as the war target, but I don't know. It's, you can't help your allies. They clearly just don't want to help. They don't want to do anything. They'd rather do their own thing. You'd like military access? Well, I'd love to give it to you, but you're not actually at war with anyone. So why would I give it to you? Good to see the Arabeski have been like kicked back to their original borders. I uh, won't lie, that's. Does please me. And we've lost more men to attrition. And do I really care? Not really. Like, not really that fussed. Like, this army's looking okay. I'm gonna sit here. Let's make this more happy. And then I'm gonna fortify myself. I'm gonna see if this guy will come and attack me. More than likely he will. Trevor's also usurpers call war declared between the Budini and the Coados. <laughs> Faction destroyed. The Retea finally gone. Okay. That's good. And then that's about it. So Rome. Who are they at war with then to cause them to bring armies all the way over here? Oh. Just about everyone in the world. Jeez. They are at war with a lot of people. Okay. Rome is actually expanding quite a bit though. It's taken a Polonia. Is it down here? No, it's not in um, Sicily yet. Okay, so it's actually being very aggressive. It's war with, like the Trabali over here. What are they doing? I wonder if they have the lead, like the manpower. Really, they've got an entire legion here. The Rapax. Interesting to see whether that's actually. I don't know. Worth it. Let's see if we can attack this guy. Oh, sabotage supplies. I bet you're going to get stabbed. Yeah, what a surprise. Oh, you didn't get stabbed though. You just failed your mission. Like a flipping idiot. Like a flipping idiot. Would have been better if you could have succeeded. Won't lie. Um, obviously. Would have been nice if you could have succeeded. Let's carry on moving down south. If, I, if I've got military axes with these guys, I would love to use it. Just to like sweep in. Just sneak in. Um, yeah, and the, there's no cool mercenaries that I would have rather had. Um... Any cool mercenaries here that I'd like to have? Uh, they're f good, but and I would get them, but we've not really got the money. Money is ever so slightly a problem. Teleferdom, though, is loving it. And we'll, we will convert this to a sacred enclosure, I think. A sacred enclosure. And then we will probably put it down like some, probably like the Grove of Teutonis, or maybe this one, Grove of Rose Murta. Yep, yeah, probably grows with Rose Murta. That'll sort out public order in no time at all. If we get it to that one, plus 8, that one plus 16, we'll have no problems there. And then we'll get that mint sorted. But anyway, guys, that's probably where we're going to have to wrap up today's episode. If you've enjoyed this uh, Novi episode of the Vida et Impera, then please do leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more of this mod, then please, well, just let me know in the comments. And if there's any advice that you want me to do, it's like, go for... Berdegala or I don't know go to war with the Romans which I could to be honest because they're at war with so many other people um, 
then please do let me know in the comments if you and just let me know as well if you're enjoying it. I do read all your comments. I do appreciate every single one. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.